Hey folks, welcome back to the garage. Um, yeah, just something a little bit different today. Uh, we're not going to be doing any uh, tinkering with vehicles, but um, just actually a bit of a history lesson uh, of uh, about this um, poor old van sitting behind me here. Um, this is a 1971 bay window van. Um, I've, I've had it for about a year or so. Um, but it has a very uh, it has a very interesting history, which um, I'll just still go into in, in a moment. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to restore this over the next while, um, but it has a serious amount of rot. But uh, it's it has one extremely important thing going for it. Um, it's 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 an original Irish van. It was it spent its whole life in Ireland. Um, it was bought and sold here, um, and it's it travelled all over the country. But uh, yeah, so it was um, it was originally sold in 1971, um, as you can see by the the registration here. Uh, now these this is an, an old uh, pre 1987 Irish registration plate, so these would have uh, the the Z letter uh, denotes Dublin uh, that it was was bought in Dublin and it was licensed by uh, Dublin uh, Dublin County Council uh, because the the county councils used to administer all the motor tax and registration uh, car registration um, functions um, they don't do all of that I, I don't think they do all of that anymore and most of that's been moved down to the Department of Transport down in Shannon um, but yeah they used to do they used to take care of all of that and the the Z so the Z code was for Dublin and uh, the 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 um, these these uh, numbers as well denote the year that it was sold in I don't know exactly how I think they what they did was they allocated a different block of numbers per year. So I think for 1971, the years 1 to 9,999 were allocated. So uh, this this was um, this was the 8,642nd vehicle sold in 1971 in, in Dublin. Um, yeah, so it has a yeah, it has a quite it has quite an interesting file of history with it as well. I, I got um, I got all the uh, I got the old brown registration book with it. Um, this details when the the exact date the vehicle was bought um, and, and first registered. So, twelve twenty first of May nineteen seventy one, um, and uh, it was. Um, Somebody paid its first owner paid twenty pounds, twenty Irish pounds and thirty one pence uh, for the for the vehicle to to register it, um, and then you can see all the old stamps here, uh, all going you know right through the seventies, eighties, and then the nineties. Um, there was a there was a bit of a black a dark period in the in the nineties and up to the mid two thousands uh, or up until around twenty seventeen when the the van reappeared on the road, um, but yeah you can see all of that uh, and then you can see all the uh, owners here on the other side um, going right right up to myself um, all the all the people who've had this van um, so these old these old log books are really interesting because um, they you know they give a to give a great history of the vehicle you know they tell you who who owned it you know the original kind of chassis number and engine number of it are all all written down um so it's a great like it's a great document actually to have with the van um and so yeah that's uh, that's the brown that's the brown logbook you don't you don't get these anymore with um with vans or with, with any vehicle they they just have a kind of a a piece of paper that uh you uh give uh, that you exchange with the own with the with between the seller and the owner um but yeah this is uh very rare to to have with a have with a vehicle and like if you have one of these yeah hang on to it don't get rid of it because they're um they're still it's still valid this is still a valid legal document for this for this van um so yeah as i said my name is on it so i, I can um you know like when you if you buy a vehicle with with one of these you'd you do the same you put your name on it um but yeah so that's that um then also uh the other really interesting uh piece of do uh, documentation that that we got with this van was um so the the owner um 
Well, the, the owner who, who had it for the longest time from about um, the mid-70s up until 1991, when the van broke down, um, well, uh, he was a... He was some kind of traveling uh, geology professor in, in Trinity College here in Dublin. Um, so he used to use this van to drive all over the country to go to sites, you know, um, to like collect rock samples and things like that. Uh, and there, there's a massive amount of mileage and, and uh, documentation about all those trips that he made because he would have had to expense things like petrol and oil um, you know, oil consumption. And as we know, these vans like to consume a lot of oil. Um, but he has all the services and all the mileages and how much he spent on petrol and all the trips that he made from, um, I think we've got, yeah, we've got information here going from August uh, 1982, right up until 1991. Um, so there's things in here. Yeah, there's all the trips that he made going to like um places like Mullingar, um uh, Temple Oak, you know, Drum Shanbo and Leitrim, um Navan, uh Cork, um just like B Belfast Airport. There's even a record here of a uh, a collision he had with a Renault eighteen GTS outside his house um sometime in uh <laughs> I think 1985, yeah, he's got the registration of the, the Renault 18 that he crashed into. <laughs> um, and all the little jobs that were done, ball joints, wheel cylinder repairs. Uh, and I think at some point, um, this, this van had also a, a replacement engine fitted sometime in the 80s as well. So it's, this is unfortunately not on its original engine, but it is, um, it is on a correct engine for these vans though. Um, and uh, yeah, it's important to note actually, this van does actually run. Um, I, I have driven it up and down here a bit. Uh, it's, um, it's interesting to start it up, but it does actually go. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's all this information here uh, of all these trips um, that this guy made um, back and forth to Dublin and uh, to Trinity College and, and all that. Um, and yeah, then uh, at the end we have uh, just it just says uh, VW died uh, May 13th, 1991, um, somewhere uh, outside Sligo town. And it was left with a, uh, it was left with a car dealer there in Sligo. And then I think it was sold on to his other owner. And then um, unfortunately it, it sat outside uh, for about 20 years um, at, at the side of a hedge. So, yeah, there was there was a lot of damage done. I think of all those years it was sitting outside, <clears throat> but um, yeah, it's it's indoors now, and hopefully uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can save it. Um, you know, because it's really like a, it's an unusual um, usual vehicle. You know, to see like an original Irish survivor like this. Um, but yeah, just one last thing. Like the uh, yeah, there's also this little uh, piece about the. Um, about wh when the van broke down, um, like the recording, kind of the, the the incident and like who who the, who he left it with um, in, in Sligo. Um, <clears throat> so he said, uh, problem, I broke down in Sligo, abandoned, um, left registration book with dealer in Sligo. Uh, and he, he records the oil used and the uh, 115,000 um, miles on the clock, second engine, driving along, jolt, engine or transmission lost power, clunky sound, um, continue to run, so wouldn't, um, yeah, I think it kind of trails off there, um, but, uh, yeah, that's it, um, yeah, I was left with some, uh, Martin Riley motors in, in, in Sligo, uh, I, I believe they're actually still there, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's interesting, like, that these, these vehicles, you know, it's how, people's mindsets change about them you know like back in 1991 when this broke down it was probably just it was just another old van you know um and it was yeah it was basically disposable um but yeah luckily it wasn't luckily it never it was never crushed or hit the scrap heap or anything um it was uh it was it was saved from that fate the van was then after it broke down in sligo it was uh 
towed back to to Dublin with a rope, um, as, as it says here. Um, and then it was it was passed on to two to two other owners. Um, the uh, one owner that had it left in a uh, outside their house, kind of in a in a bush uh, for for about twenty years, um, and then and then another owner, which was a fr- was a friend of ours. Um, and unfortunately she couldn't keep it either so uh she very kindly kind of passed it on to us um but yeah uh, so there's going to be a lot more interesting videos about this van to come um as we as we dig into it and look at its history and find out what surprises it has in store um, and i'm sure it has many um but yeah thanks for watching um this this video this is kind of short introduction to uh this van here and um, and uh, the f- foray into the Irish registration system and the the old uh, Irish logbook vehicle logbook system. But yeah, um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you again.